Well, is it really worth it to buy this model? Uh, it doesn't sound very good, not very interesting. I think it's just a wasting of uh, time and money. Anyway, uh, maybe you want to hear how it sounds. I add a push button here so I can trigger the model and Yes, that's how it sounds without the transistor. Uh, I add uh, only uh, 8 ohm speaker and uh, maybe it's too, too much load for the model, but I took the risk and I uh, connected directly. Of course, you can add uh, 22 ohms in serial to the speaker so you can uh, reduce the load from the model. Now it's connected to exactly 4 volts and that's how it sounds with a speaker of 8 ohm without the resistors. Of course, you can add uh, some amplifier or something like that, uh, something like the LM386 or something uh, similar to that, and uh, the sound will be much, much uh, stronger and uh, maybe it will sound better. Anyway, that sound is so simple that I think you can uh, create it yourself with a, a tiny microcontroller or in many other ways, even the... NE555 can uh, produce a sound like that. It's a simple square wave with two frequencies that alternating and it's repeat uh, I think three times. Yes, and uh, of course it was just, I bought it just to see what it is, but it uh, doesn't work I think to buy it. Anyway, maybe you want to see the signal that the model output to the scope. Let's try to do it too. We can see that the measurement on the speaker it uh, looks uh, in very uh, low amplitude. It's only half volt. Uh, the supply is four volt, and uh, beside it we can see a, a lot of noise here and here. And it's happened because the speaker is act like a coil, like an inductor, and it's making a lot of, a lot of noise. Uh, when I uh, disconnect the speaker, uh, it looks much, much uh, nicer uh, waveform, but uh, anyway, uh, it's give us some information uh, about how it looks, how the sound looks. Uh, the output of the model is only between zero volt and something like a four volts so uh, you you cannot uh, get a negative voltage uh, and the speaker of course should get a negative and positive uh, supply in order to uh, work uh, efficiently uh, so the speaker uh, get only uh, p positive voltage and it's <laughs> sound very bad and the ampli the sound is also uh, will be lower because of that Okay, that's what the seller should suggested how to connect it, and uh, I connected completely in other way. Anyway, I didn't use a transistor in the output. I, I uh, took the the signal from the base and uh, connected directly to the speaker, uh, and that is that should be a speaker, not buzzer. Uh, the, they said it should be buzzer, but it, it should be speaker. Uh, let's say 16 ohm, it's better than 8 ohm. Uh, that capacitor is not necessary and it cannot work with that because it makes a pulse only once when the capacitor is not charged and when you try to work to it, it doesn't work anymore because the capacitor is already uh, charged. So the push on the, this button does do nothing. Uh, the way to connect it is simply without the capacitor and to make a short push button uh, press and uh, that's how it works for me I will draw now the complete schematic diagram of my connections and here it is the schematic diagram of the connections so you can see that is very very simple uh, the normally open push button connected directly to the uh, that point let's call it VCC uh, to that point into input of trigger uh, so it uh, produces a, a positive uh, pulse. Uh, the speaker connected between the base, what should be the base of the transistor that I uh, uh, decide not to connect. And uh, here you can add the resistor 
uh, up to 22 ohms, it can be lower resistance, and speaker, it will be better to add the 16 ohm speakers than the 8 ohm because because 8 ohm uh, speaker uh, draw too much current for the module and 16 ohms is better. Anyway, I thought about a, a cool idea to use two speakers of 8 ohm and connected in serial so that no power will be lost and you can use both of them you can, you can hear the sound from both of the speakers but when you do it pay attention to add the speakers with the cor cor correct uh, polarity that means the positive of the one to the negative of the other and in that way uh, the sound will be uh, uh, the best you can make from that connection anyway that works for me is it good idea to buy it and to use it? And I, I think it's not good idea. I think it doesn't worth it. No, it doesn't worth the time or something like that. Uh, even it's very very cheap. Uh, you can uh, produce uh, the sound from NE555 or with uh, any um, tiny microcontroller, so it can be uh, produce much even more interesting sounds uh, than it makes. Anyway, if you don't uh, have a microcontroller in your system and you want to add some sound. You can add it and when you press something, let's say in the toy, uh, a sound will be heard. It can be a solution, it's not very, <laughs> very interesting sound, but anyway, it's one of the possibilities to add sound to your projects. Anyway, if you want, the speaker will be louder and uh, the sound will be heard louder. You can do something like that. You can uh, take the bass of, the, uh, of that and to connect it to an uh, amplifier or something like that. And let's say this is the amplifier, so you can uh, use the B connection here and just add a 100 or maybe 500 resistors between the bass and the uh, ground uh, and the amplifier will be in use and the sound will be much higher. Of course, it's not going to improve the sound itself, just the volume of the sound. That's all for now. I hope you get uh, some idea of that video. Please share and subscribe.